tray bending. The ability to customize and bend Cooper Beeline Flex Tray on site gives the installer unsurpassed job site flexibility and labor savings. While there are many ways to bend and splice flex tray configurations, there are four main types. The horizontal bend, the horizontal T, the horizontal cross, and the vertical or elbow bend. Let's take a quick look at how to quickly cut, bend, and splice each configuration. The first step to create any horizontal or vertical bend is to refer to your Cooper Beeline Flex Tray catalog to see what wire segments need to be cut and removed from each tray in order to bend the tray to the desired configuration. The next step is to mark where the cuts will be made. Then, make the cuts. For the horizontal bend, you need to remove two sections of the tray's bottom wire, leaving the tray's side wire in place. Once the tray's bottom wire has been removed, bend the tray into the 90 degree position. For assistance in making an exact 90 degree bend, the clean shear bend tool may be used. Place the tray on top of the tool so that the side of the tray is in between the rods and the center of the cutout portion lines up with the center of the tool. Hold the tool in place as you bend the tray. The clean shear bend allows one installer to make the bend easily and to an exact 90 degrees. Then secure the bend and horizontal configuration using Cooper B Line's washer splice kit, FlexMate permanent splice clip, or wing splice kit hardware. As you can see, the process is simple and easy to accomplish. Making a horizontal T from two sections of flex tray is just as simple. Again, check the flex tray catalog to see and properly mark the necessary wire cuts to the sides and end of the tray sections. Make the cuts to each section. Then, using a long screwdriver or other pry bar type tool, bend the sides of the intersecting tray outward to approximately a 30 degree angle. Correctly position the two sections of tray together on the floor. And first, splice and tighten the adjacent bottom sections of the adjoining trays with the appropriate splice kit hardware. Then, splice and tighten the horizontal T side sections together. Fabricating a horizontal cross flex tray configuration is very similar to the horizontal tee. The only difference is removing wire sections from both sides of the designated center section of the horizontal cross. Start by referring to the flex tray catalog to mark and make the necessary wire cuts to each side of the center flex tray section. Then, remove the wire sections from the ends of the two intersecting trays. Again, using a long screwdriver or other prying tool, bend the end of the tray side sections out to a 30 degree angle. Then, install and tighten the splice kit hardware to secure the tray bottom. Then secure the sides of each tray to create the horizontal cross. Creating a vertical bend out of a section of flex tray is quite simple. Again, refer to the flex tray catalog to identify, mark, and cut away the correct tray side wire sections. Place the tray on the floor and secure one end of the tray with your hand or foot. Then, Bend up on one end section to create the first appropriately angled leg of the vertical drop. Turn the tray over and bend the other end section to create the second leg of the vertical drop. 
Before starting flex tray assembly procedures, please review the materials segment of this program for safety equipment details.